Ethereum is now the topic of conversation once again because it broke yet another all-time high, reaching 1,830 US dollars. But why is it so important to look at it now? We want you to know all the fundamentals behind this. Now, these all-time high prices can come bearing, you see what we did there, some special situations such as extreme gas fees, extreme hash rates, and the list goes on. But in this video, we also have a very special key metric against Bitcoin, which we'll discuss a little later. Okay, so let's get into what we'll cover in today's video. In this episode of Being Crypto News, we'll go through the underlying fundamentals and some key metrics that you need to know of the latest ETH all-time highs to give you the most relevant fundamentals so you know what to expect in these crazy markets. We'll also bring you a Bitcoin technical analysis as we want you to keep an eye on Bitcoin also. And as you are here, please help us by supporting this channel by liking and subscribing. I'll be bringing you these videos every single Tuesday and Thursday. So while most eyes were on Bitcoin, Ethereum was a strong dark horse in this race. And as we all can't deny, the price of Ethereum has been steadily rising. The same data shows the smart contract token began to break through the significant price hurdles after the 15th of December 2020. Well, since then, it's all steams ahead for the second largest crypto by market cap, and it's recorded over 170% increase. Ethereum achieved this speed in less than 60 days. That is some serious gains. So CoinGecko actually shows that Ether currently falls behind Bitcoin in weekly gains. Both digital assets recorded 19% and 31% increase within the last seven days respectively. So Ether's broken its former resistance level and now sits at around 1,800 US dollars. I mean, for any of us that actually remember these bearish Februaries in previous crypto years, we are loving this price action and loving these price gains. But one big question I have for you, do you think ETH price will increase and what's the price target? Let me know in the comments below. So for our eyes on the next price target, we have some key metrics that you need to watch out for. First up, we've got value sentiment. Well, what does that mean? I'm gonna show you a chart here, and Ethereum, which is the green line you can see, now has become the largest digital network for trustless money settlement, as it surpassed Bitcoin, which is the red line. And it was a pretty close call, as you can see, and this positive push that we saw very recently for both. Both Bitcoin and Ethereum actually saw their transfer values spike in January 2021, as these new all-time highs were hit. But ETH actually now flipped its big brother in terms of metrics. So Adams, who actually tweeted out this, actually claimed that there was one big flippening left, presumably referencing the asset prices. Adams also added that these, they say reserve currency status is the last to fall when economic power gets outcompeted. So we're gonna to have to keep a close eye on this one, but this is the first metric to watch. Now, other on-chain metrics are just as positive for the network, which brings us to hash rate. Hash rate, which has just hit an all-time high according to BitInfo charts. This metric, often referred to as computing horsepower, actually demonstrates security for proof-of-work networks, and miners are certainly ranking in the profits at the moment. Next, we've got fund inflow. A new corn shares report actually released on February the 8th showed that recent investing inflow has been heavily favoring Ethereum. The market's second largest cryptocurrency drew in a huge $195 million in investment in the first week of February, way ahead of the assets. Now, people may find this surprising, what with Bitcoin dominating headlines and just general being the more known cryptocurrency, therefore you'd assume that it's an obvious investment choice. So why is Ethereum attracting such large investments and at this time specifically? Well, the heavy flow into Ethereum may be a result of the booming DeFi market. However, CoinShares researchers actually note that investors are preferring to take hold over taking profits taking hold over taking profits. Ethereum is the backbone of the DeFi market, which shows just as much, if not more promise, than 2020. So these are all some really big signs here. Now we're gonna go on to active addresses. So active addresses, as you can see on the infographic, we've got the purple cloud here. They've also surged for Ethereum and Bitcoin, and Coinmetrics actually pointed out these two crypto giants are way ahead of the pack. So next up, and this is one of the biggest talking points, is Ethereum rising gas fees. Ethereum is the most widely used blockchain network at the moment. Now, some would think this was good news, but unfortunately, there also comes to be some disadvantages to this. Many people are actually unable to execute their transactions 
due to a really sharp increase in the price of Ether and gas, a price that any user has to pay for their transaction to be validated. They're starting to look for other alternatives on the other networks outside of Ethereum. Now this is a huge point to know, other upcoming networks could be some tough competition for Ethereum in the very near future. So if Ethereum is seeing success and people are using it, why could this be so detrimental to its adoption? Well, because the network gets heavily used, it's designed to increase the price of gas and therefore discourage transactions from taking place. So what we see is when usage is really low, the price of gas is really cheap and it's more of an incentive to get its kick started. So now that we have all that information, what is next to expect? Well, if the price of Ether continues to rise to 2,000 or even 3,000 as some analysts are predicting, Ethereum could remain a large network specialized in DeFi. But the certification of traceability or video game projects will look for some other ecosystems which are more economically viable. So the question now remains, if Ethereum does specialize in DeFi and only really DeFi, will it be good for the system and will it confirm this definitive takeoff as this great financial global network or will it lose users' interest and other use cases and in general hurt the adoption of Ethereum as a whole? So also now it's really important to note there is just over 3 million ETH staked on the ETH 2.0 blockchain worth a staggering $5.4 billion at the current price. It's absolutely enormous. Now according to the Beacon Chain Analytics platform, there are currently over 84,000 active validators with over 8,800 pending. So that staked ETH is earning 9% per year in Ethereum and this asset has just hit another all-time price high. So staking for early bids has been extremely profitable so far and investors are likely to follow the trend, locking in their ETH to earn some interest and who can blame them. Now finally to wrap up this video we also have our all-time high price analysis for Bitcoin. So since the price is at an all-time high we couldn't put any price targets out for now but after breaking out with a massive bullish candlestick on February the 8th record-breaking, Bitcoin consolidated the next day. Now this is actually normal in signs of indecision, however despite this technical indicators are decisively bullish. So the main support area is found at 41,300 US dollars, which actually was the previous resistance area that we covered in other videos. Now it's likely to act as a support. So as long as Bitcoin is trading above this level, the trend is considered bullish. So what we have to take note of over here is these high gas prices and how this actually has a long-term risk. We could see that it starts to decentivize the use of the Ethereum network. Now, while we might not see a benefit from this in the short term, long term throughout 2021, this could have an impact on Ethereum performance. But I wanna hear from you all, what do you think when it comes to short-term bullish case for Ethereum and long-term price goals? Let me know in the comments below. Well, that is all for today's video. We hope you learned a lot along the way. Now, now, as always, be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any more content like this. I'm Jessica Walker and you're watching Being Crypto News. See you all again next time.